What is happening, y'all? Welcome. I'm back, and it's time to go hunt an apex. There's little Mako. Playing uh, fish baseball down here. the deep, the great white. You're supposed to be an apex and you're getting thrashed, dude. is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. Mm. Might as well get some snacks while I'm here. Simply to close the beaches. But why do that when you can just set loose a gang of amphetamine-fueled locals with guns? The shark's gills are not designed to function out of water. Uh, come on, get in the water. There we go. So much food here, I just can't help myself. trying to escape. I like this beach you and me. Got a lot of nice looking wealthy women. There's a court order says I can't be the to one who defeated the beach. You see a lot of good set of binoculars. Well, let's see how Pete's doing after losing a leg, his son, and an arm. Alright, I'll wait for the bounty. And do I have... oh yeah, I can definitely upgrade my tail all the way. Damn it. I was just trying to eat some mahi. I got too close though. Where the hell is it? Can't avoid us forever. The underwater world is a fantasia, bustling with color and activity. Coastal tourism in the U.S. continues to grow, leaving millions of naive Americans vulnerable to the graft of beach umbrella renters. It's vital that we extract an absolute maximum of resources before we cross Earth's apocalyptic threshold. Might not be. Oh no! Like I don't have a bounty, but I think the load screen bugged it out.
All right, this isn't gonna work right now, so instead... You know what, instead, let me just go out into the gulf. I'll find some whales to kill, load up on protein a little bit, and then I'll swim back here after they have screwed off. While fears of ecological apocalypse are valid, you should see Exico Petroleum's previous quarter's earnings. I'd imagine we're out of combat now. Prosperity Sands reminds us that sometimes the construction of second and third homes supersedes considerations like loss of species diversity. Shock! One way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? They killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Want to keep tugging on this knot, you? Man, he looks... Oof. Not looking good. Old Grotto Love. Abby Key Grotto. Let's go. Well, hello there. I'm guessing Orca is going to be the, uh, the pinnacle in this one. Due to Caviar Key's increased coastal exposure, storms that had a minor impact three decades ago caused significant from the moment she's born. The shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Oh, is this like a Sea World thing? I think it is. Means it's filled with things for me to eat on the inside. do it. No. Very disappointing. Orcas do enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day old seal garden. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination.
Even after the creation oh of a killer clown task force, clown-related homicide still remains a problem in Fort Clovis. I'm really liking all the little references they've packed full. Quite like dining surfside on tanned and toned beach bodies. The bull shark is able to attain larger Twofer. maximal sizes through selective feed. I get over to there. I thought it was going to be right down here, but maybe not. This was only Alex's second worst birthday. These might just be greats. Killing a sea turtle carries a criminal penalty of up to $100,000. But sharks are notoriously profligate when it comes to paying fines. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. Okay. Swing out by the dock real fast. Cover that up. Super speed shark jump. Oh my god, how did I miss that, dude? And I must have swam right past this. Swing and get these, and then we'll go back inside the, the area. Bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. You will all be food later. It's gonna be the best way. It's still gonna go a long way around. I wonder if I could hop all the way across. I'm gonna try it. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. I'm guessing this will lead me to, I don't know, nothing showing up on radar yet. But like, it's gotta lead me somewhere, you know? Give me that license plate. And what was over here?
can't tell if it's a sign or an exit gate. Nice. Fort Clovis City Council never misses an opportunity for cross franchising. Hey, is that? Is the group from Metro? I need to bite like one more thing so I can just zip through this real fast. Super speed shark. so funny how fast you can go it's like you like a freaking jet attached to your backside sailors of yore believed that the mere sighting of a shark portended the death of a crew after losing to king crush in the 2011 monster mania semifinals big finn stepped away from the limelight for a simpler more natural way of life Again, you die, Marlin. is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. It's a landmark. Getting my shark head. Oh, this is the last one. Recently, Port Clovis has gained a reputation for its derivative, politically confused street art. All right. Um. So this is probably just filled with chests. Might as well go grab them real fast. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bone. Probably easiest to do with a turtle. This 
seems a lot more uh, like Bayou-ish. Well, not really Bayou, but it's just I don't know. This this area we're in now does not seem like the kind of area that I would find swordfish and mahi. This is the last ash. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Right, let me just mark it myself there. Man, now that I'm like upgraded between the, the shadow tail and everything, I am hauling ass through these zones. Like. It used to take, I mean, I remember back at the start when we were doing, uh, what was it, Dead Lake or whatever. It took, like, three episodes to clear that place, and now I'm banging out zones in, like, a zone per episode. Once more, the shark turns back to this place. Revenge, key hunt, population control, and an apex. I wonder what the apex is here. Is it going to be something? Probably like an orca. I would guess it's an orca. Yeah. Yeah, because this is a targeted orca. All right, let's take a look, though. Um, evolutions. Lunge speed and thrash damage. Okay. I'm down with that, and we have 10% max speed from the full set. Um, let me upgrade all the way. Shit, it's not what I wanted. Uh, Bone Tail. Man, Bioelectric sucks. There's no passive on it at all. This has Splash Radius, Tail Whip Damage, Tail Whip Force, and Ramming Damage. There's a lot of passives on that. But, I mean, it's hard to beat max speed and swim speed. Now, this would probably go up really high. It'd be have like a hundred percent tail whip force or something. Thirty-six thousand. I doubt that's enough, but all right, not bad, not bad. I need uh, about eight thousand more, and I am fully upgraded Shadow Shark. Shadow Shark. Um. You know what, while we're here, let me, uh... Because I know I'll need to use the bone stuff as well for the fights against the boats. So all the way, 250% tail whip force. That's pretty impressive. Bone body is upgraded. Bone jaw is upgraded. Bone fins are upgraded. Damn, I might burn through all of my crystals, but... No, I'll need to get some for the head. The head will need crystals. But besides that, I could go... I want to even bother with the bioelectric, I guess, just just to just to have it done, just to get all my upgrades done. That way, no matter what I'm playing as. Shadow, shadow, shadow. So. All I need now is stuff for the heads. And the heads are, what is it, like 14, 12? It's basically like 50,000 a head. So pretty soon I will be completely set on doing upgrades. Um, mutagen, I still have plenty of mutagen. This would be good to upgrade soon. That's probably going to be... Shadow head. Alright, um, so we gotta do a couple quests here, obviously. We gotta kill an orca, kill some turtles. We're gonna wrap up here. Um, next episode. Actually, looking at the map. Damn, I'm... I'm getting close to being done. It's sad. I've enjoyed my time as a shark. Um, Fish Bay. This is a really small area. I wonder if this is where you... Because I feel like there's gotta be, like, a mega... Or a, a giant squid or something that I got to fight. Orca makes sense because those were, were fierce. I don't think there'd be a, like a giant sperm whale. So we'll knock out caviar. Well, actually, I'm mostly not going to. Um, 
yeah, we'll, we'll do the quest here in the next episode and we'll just take things from there. So stay tuned. I'll catch y'all soon enough with more.